What's up everybody, Evan Yon here with week 7 of Fortnite, chapter 3, season 2. And this week I think we got some pretty simple challenges. I had some difficulties, I did do it on Team Rumble, even though I, I don't know if I should have done it. Maybe it would have been better on regular modes, because I could have done some things against IO Guards. But for the most part it's pretty simple. Once again I'll cover all the challenges separately in the second part of the video. In the first part of the video I do all the challenges the most effective way possible you know the, the best way to approach the challenges i am not covering the resistance quests during this first part of the challenge once again because they are too separate from the weekly challenges so i'm doing this them separately the second part of the video same thing for the omni chips though there are one set of chips that are in the same area that i do most of the challenges so i am covering those but only those and then the others i'll cover separately so let's start so we're going once again to command cavern like i said i'm doing this on team rumble probably not a good idea it worked out good enough but you know so we're going to the east side to the tank we're gonna grab a weapon you start with a weapon on team rumble you can use that we're gonna shoot the panel behind the tank until it get, then gets disabled you'll see the notification of the challenge saying you disabled it as you can see there's no one using the tank so you don't have to you, you can do this against to get anything doesn't have to be someone actually using it making it much easier so now we're going inside command cavern to get i'm getting the free how many chips inside here I am also getting one of the seven amplifiers. There, we need three of those. We're getting one of them here at a command cavern. Here's the second Omni chip. So I'm also getting uh, remote explosives, torch, and cow catchers. They're all part of challenges. And here's the third and last Omni chip at Command Cavern. Like I said, the rest of the Omni chips I'm covering separately later after this. Now with the remote explosives, we're going to destroy this cannon, which count as a turret. I'm gonna shoot it a little bit because I'm not sure if one remote explosive will be enough to destroy it. That is one challenge. Now we're using a cannon to go to the fortress and there's a gas station near the fortress and the second seven amplifier is there. So I got kind of lucky here and I found someone just standing there to do to use the torch on them. It is pretty fast, you need to do, to do 5 hits. Now we are getting some headshots with the striker burst rifle, you need to get 200 damage with headshots. And this is the part where it would, it would be much easier against IO guards, you can get headshots much easier. But you know, it's doable, team run where you can respawn to get these, so yeah, it's up to you. Now the cow catcher, I throw one here to destroy a structure, you need to destroy 200 structures with cow catchers. So obviously they want you to upgrade a car with the cow catcher and then destroy a bunch of structures now here i only get a few because the match ends i'm gonna show you how i did it later so now we're going to do we're going to land the tilted towers and use the cannon to go to the fortress this is for the visiting five named locations in one match now this is a good challenge to do on team rumble because you can die and get additional locations on the same match but it's totally doable on regular mode especially if you use the cannon 
cannons. So from the fortress, we're going to command cavern. From command cavern, we are going to lock jam lumberyard. And the last location I get is sanctuary, which because I'm on Team, Team Rumble, I respawn there. But if you were doing it on regular mode, my my initial plan was to land on command cavern, use cannons to go to the fortress, tilt the towers, and then maybe rocky reels. The problem is that rocky reels doesn't have the the cannons anymore. Anymore. so the last two you're gonna have to drive around to get those last two but yeah, it, it shouldn't be a problem if you plan it out just you just have to worry about the storm maybe so now once again because I'm on scene rumble I respawn here I get the third and last IO amplifier there are five other locations around the map but because I'm on scene rumble and I respawn here I just got this one I'm sure there's another location near the other two I did which is probably what I would do if I wasn't on Team Rumble, but you know. Anyway, here I'm um, the cow catcher. Like I said, it's the last thing for this week. So what you want to do is do what you've done before, probably, and destroy an entire structure, the base of the structure. So places like Tilted Towers, Daily Bugle, honestly, any uh, any place with a lot of structures. And then I'm not sure if that counts, but I think once you destroy the entire base of the building, everything. Uh, above it is gonna be destroyed and I think that counts now I got 200 as soon right as I got uh, the entire base here so I'm not sure if that counts but it seemed to count so you know but either way just go for the base of a large named location and that is it for the weekly challenges you know the most effective wave now we're gonna cover all the challenges omni chips resistance quests in order you can see the time codes in the description first of all we got three omni chips at cuddle cruisers, free army chips at command cavern, and free army chips at sleepy sound. Now for the resistance quest. First we got a device uplink near Log Jam Lumberyard or Chunker Speedway. I do this on Log Jam Lumberyard. I think it's the best place to do this because you'll see the next the actual challenge later. War may be fought on the battlefield, 
but it is one in hearts and minds. That's where we're gonna spend a little time screwing with the I.O.'s propaganda machine. My new counter-propaganda mixtape drops as soon as you hack into the I.O.'s loudspeakers, so... Come on. You, me, hearts, minds. Let's make it happen. So the actual challenge is hack I.O. loudspeakers and you need three of them. So they are basically on I.O. bases and they're kind of spread out, unfortunately. So there's one right where I got the device uplink. Attention I.O. forces, this is Dr. Sloan. And this is what my voice normally sounds like. <laughs> As of this broadcast, we officially surrender. Ask no follow-up questions, just, just drop your weapons and run. From here, I go to the one on Sleepy Sounds. Now you could go to the one on Command Cavern, which is the last one I'm getting. And then use a cannon to go to the one Sleepy Sound. But I don't know, I don't think you can reach that far. It's gonna be, it's gonna take time anyway to go back and forth. There is no good way to do this. You just gotta do it. So next we got another device up link near Coney Crossroads or Greasy Grove. I get I get it on Coney Crossroads. Very funny prank with the loudspeakers. But I have a new mission for you. Our ballistics lab have created some very convincing imagined order dummy shells. We'd like you to swap out the live shells for our blanks at key munition storage sites. The actual challenge is swap IO munitions with dummy shells. We need two of them, so since we are on Coney Crossroads, as you can see there's one kinda close and the other one on Tilted Towers. We're gonna get those. Virtually indistinguishable. That's one swap down. Provide our forces at Tilted Towers valuable time to regroup. The next device uplink is near Camp Cado or Shifty Shafts. So I go to the one near Shifty Shafts, near the bridge. You know what's the strangest thing? I can't find my old Imagine Order credentials. Luckily, the I.O. is built on mutual distrust and paranoia, so there's always a workaround. So let's brute force this problem. If you see I.O. files in the wild, smash them open, and I'll do the rest. And the actual challenge is destroy a white filing cabinet and collect the files. We just need one of those. We're going to the one near the fortress. Next device uplink is near 7 Outpost 2 or 7 Outpost 5. We're going to... I don't know which one it is. It's the one east of Command Cavern because it's, you know, it's closer. We're gonna use some cannons to get there from the fortress.
you to a top secret imagined order server, huh? We'll either find priceless intel or a really juicy memo about whoever's been stealing lunches from the staff fridge. I bet you was Agent Gunner, level five. The actual challenge is hack an IO server in Command Cavern. So once again, another cannon to go back to Command Cavern. And we just need one server. There are free options apparently. And that is it for the resistance quests for this week. So now let's go for the actual weekly challenges one by one. First of all, we got damage opponents with the repair torch. So I got kind of lucky here and I found someone just standing there to do to use the torch on them. It is pretty fast, you need to do, to do five hits, but you can probably make this easier against IO guards. No, they're not available on Team Rumble. But yeah, you can find these torches as ground loot or with on the red uh, toolboxes. Next we got deal headshot damage with the striker burst rifle. 200 damage. Again something that if you do it against IO guards makes it much easier because they just stand there. Much easier headshots but you know it's up to you. Next, destroy a turret using remote explosives. So these cannons count as turrets. I, I did some damage to the turret first and then I used the remote explosive. I don't know if one just is enough to destroy. Next, destroy structures with the cow catcher. So you can get cow catchers from the red toolbox or as floor loot. So here I just throw one at a structure, it just destroys one. They actually want you to upgrade a car with the cow catcher and then just run around destroying. You need to destroy 200 structures, which is a lot. What you gotta do is destroy an entire base of a city, basically. Like daily bugle, to the towers, anything like that. So here I just I get 200 by destroying everything but so I'm not sure if it does what I think it does which is once you destroy the entire base everything above gets destroyed so it should count as separate structures but I'm not sure if that's how it works if it doesn't work just keep destroying the base of other structures Next, we got disable a tank by damaging the engine. The engine is the back of the tank, and thankfully you don't need to have someone using the tank. You know, just shoot the back of it until you get the notification for the challenge. Very simple stuff. Next, recover stolen seven supplies at IO locations. So we need three of them. Um, I get one at Command Cavern, which you know there's a lot of stuff doing there. Next, one at the fortress, the gas station near the fortress, and the last one I get like near the sanctuary that's because i was doing on team rumble and when you die you respawn near the circle but if you're not doing like that you should probably go to the one either the one near the log jam lumber yard or the one east of tilted towers you now there are eight locations you need three of them it's up to you what you want to do it doesn't have to be on the same match as well And lastly for this week we got visit different lame locations in a single match. We need to visit five locations. So what I do here, I, I land on Tilted Towers, I use the cannons, I'm gonna use all the cannons to navigate between locations. So from Tilted Towers I go to the Fortress, from the Fortress I go to Command Cavern, Command Cavern I go to Log Jam Lumber Yard, and then the last one I get it on the Sanctuary because I'm once 
once again on Sim Rumble and I'm able to respawn and get additional locations. My initial plan was actually to start in Command Cavern, go to the Fortress, then to Tilted Towers, then to either Rocky Reels, maybe the Greasy, maybe Greasy Grove. The last shoe, you, because there are no locations with cannons like the other three, you're gonna have to use a car to get the last shoe. Well, the last location, I guess. Wait, if you do it on Team Rumble, it's easier because you can respawn and get locations near the circle. But that is it, I think. Very simple week of challenges. We're very close from the end of this season. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code Avignon at the Epic Game Store and Fortnite Item Shop. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.